tech industry is a little male dominant with such a gender ratio do you face any particular challenges just because you are a girl hello friends welcome back to my channel a place where we explore the life of tech and make programming fun and easy to learn this episode is for all you ladies out there often in my personal experience and even talking to my friends i have found that the tech industry is a little male dominant so how does it feel to be a part of an organization where you are a minority and what challenges do you have to explore that today i have with me vidhi patel who works at microsoft as a software engineer and she has herself taken more than 20 interviews let us try to find out how does she feel working in such an environment and what advice does she have when someone is looking for a job at microsoft so vidhi Welcome to my studio. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for inviting me here. Would you like to have something? Yes. Can I have some tea? Sure. Oh wow, I didn't know you knew how to do magic. <laughs> so Vidhi, to start off this conversation, can you give me a little background about yourself? Mm -hmm. Like where are you from and how has your journey been up to Microsoft? Sure. Um so I did my undergrad in India uh, from Mumbai University um and then I joined a mid-sized company called Inscripts. I worked over there for 2 years as a full stack engineer. I decided I wanted to come to the US for mm -hmm. my masters. Um so then I came over here to study with him. Well, at ESU we went to the same university. Yeah. We were classmates <laughs> at some point. Yep. Um and then um I finished my master's degree uh joined IBM in Boston. I worked over there for about a year. Mm -hmm. Um and then I got the Microsoft offer and I joined here at Microsoft and for 3 years I've been working at Azure. Wow, three years now. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, this is some experience that you've got. Mm -hmm. So, talking about women in tech, from what I have observed in most of these big companies, like the number of female employees are often less than the number of male employees. Mm -hmm. So, how accurate is this information when talking about Microsoft or like talking about your team in general? For sure, uh if you look at the stats, uh the number of women that are in Microsoft are definitely less. than the men the men in microsoft uh personally in my team there's only two women in a team of 12 people oh, wow. so that's definitely a very um uh, skewed ratio over there so yeah so this problem exists i mean at every large scale company as well yeah yep. right yeah. yep so with such a gender ratio so do you face any particular challenges just because you are a girl i think i definitely felt it when i joined initially mm -hmm. uh because there's some uh, there were some points when i raised a question in a meeting and i was overlooked oh. um it could easily have been because i was a woman or because i was new um but i have seen that and from time to time when things that i say can easily be overlooked whereas somebody who is a male in my team okay. um asks the same question in a different way mm -hmm. and that definitely gets so, answered so let me just interrupt you over here so in such a scenario when these kind of things happen your opinion is being overlooked no one is listening to you so how do you keep yourself motivated in such an environment so it definitely helps to talk to other women who are also facing similar issues and at microsoft we have a lot of um, we have a lot of groups where you can go and talk to other women about issues like this and how to overcome so i believe this. like this is a general sentiment that almost every female employee at the company experiences probably yeah so this happens at every level or is it only at the junior level that this kind of thing is must so from what i've heard from what i've talked to other women at the company who are at higher positions they have different issues it's definitely okay. not mm -hmm. as small as this as you go higher up um you have other issues such as you know maternal mm -hmm. issues um you okay. have to deal with your uh, so you guys generally talk about all of this yeah Yeah, so, we do have groups where we uh, raise issues like this and Microsoft has a very good policy about being inclusive. Mm -hmm. Um so Microsoft itself uh, promotes these kind of groups. Okay. So yeah, this this all sounds very interesting. So uh Vidhi, I've seen one more thing. Like over these past few years, I've seen companies are promoting ideas like hashtag #women in technology, hashtag #girls who code. Mm -hmm. And since you have been in this company for a quite a period of time, So have you seen some change from the previous days to now like is there any evolution that you have seen that the company is doing to have a balanced gender ratio Yeah uh, so I haven't been as long 3 years is is uh, is still a short amount of time to mm -hmm. see like a change like this just this kind of a change is going to take a long time mm -hmm. um but from what little I have noticed um there has been a a shift in the mindset essentially 
um, and because Microsoft promotes it, uh, a lot of people have started thinking. For very simple example, mm -hmm. but instead of saying hello guys when okay. entering a meeting, people say hello everybody. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, like, hello small everyone, things like that. hello Fox, exactly. uh, things like those. Yeah. Okay. So for a moment, like I just wanted to digress from this conversation and. If you want to talk to any of those ladies that are that are watching this video, mm -hmm. so what would you like to say to them? Yeah, um, for sure. So one advice I would give you is as soon as you enter the workforce, um, make sure you make uh, allies with other women because you might not notice it uh, in the beginning where you are facing some adversaries and why that might be. But talking to other women might give you a little bit of uh, what other women are, are going through as well. And whether that's just you or just you know, women as a community. So definitely seek out other women and make um, maybe join groups um, and make sure that you um, just talk to them. Okay. Wow, that sounds like a lot of information. <laughs> so get it, girl. So just to wrap up everything, Vidhi, I know that you have been taking up interviews at Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking, when you're interviewing a candidate, what do you look for something in a candidate? Is it just like code, code, code? Or is it like problem solving skills? Mm -hmm. Or do you focus on something conceptual? Mm -hmm. How is it? Right. So for uh, for interviewing, uh, we have a grid that we need to follow. And our manager essentially gives us a certain um, virtue to for, uh, virtue to test in, a, in that particular interview. So for example, if I have to test um, teamwork, mm -hmm. then I will ask a few behavioral questions. Um, um, so for uh, sure, if when we start interviewing, uh, we are supposed to um, ask a problem, a coding question, right. uh, because that's basically like the base of the of the interview. Um, and what we are asked um, and what we are told from our management is essentially to to look for problem solving skills. Okay. So when I give a question, it's okay if the candidate isn't able to solve it, but his his thought process about how he reaches um, the final solution is what matters. So what would you say, like when uh, let us say you give me a question. So if I'm unable to solve this question completely, then what will you what will be your reaction? If you are unable to solve it. But it depends on the type of the question. If it's hard, I do mm -hmm. not expect you to solve it within 40 minutes. Okay. But I do expect you to give me a, a proper thought process of how we will reach the solution. Okay, so you're basically looking for how I'm approaching the problem rather Correct. than going towards the solution directly. Yeah, right? it's okay if you don't run the code and it doesn't get executed. Mm -hmm. As long as you're able to give me a, a, a final um, solution as mm -hmm. to even the pseudo code would do. Right. How important are data structures and algorithms for you? Oh, for sure. It's <laughs> it's definitely important. This is the core of mm -hmm. what we do, right? Um, it's definitely important in interviewing as mm -hmm. well as in our daily life as and well. And what would be the most important data structure when it comes to Microsoft? Like, I believe like some companies have, like for example, Facebook has graph as their most prominent data structure. Like right. everything is connected by that. So right. for Microsoft, what is that? So I can only talk about my experience okay. here. Uh, that's in Azure. Mm -hmm. um, and so far, I've mostly seen a lot of um, queues being used. Okay, queues. Uh -huh. All right. So I know Microsoft has Teams on Xbox also. So you do play a game, a lot of games also. Do you get to be a part <laughs> of those gaming teams? Yeah, as well? for sure. I have a friend in Xbox, and uh, mm -hmm. most of their Fridays is essentially just gaming with their team members. So it sounds pretty much fun. <laughs> okay. Okay. So all this was really amazing, Vidhi. Thank you for all the time and the advice that you give. So for anyone else who is watching this video, I will surely drop in some resources that can help you to prepare for Microsoft interviews. I will also post a link to Vidhi's LinkedIn profile if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Go so, for it. So yeah, so you so feel free to reach out to her, connect to her, know more about the company, know more about women who are actually in this industry, women who code, everything about it. I hope that's all okay with you, Vidhi. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> Thank, thanks a lot. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs>